Birbal saves a life. Akbar was a benevolent king, but he also had an awful temper. One day, he got angry with one of his courtiers. He was so furious that he ordered the guards to behead him the next day. The courtier fell at Birbal's feet and pleaded, "Birbal, please save me from the emperor's wrath." Birbal offered him advice. Next day, the courtier stood near the palace gates where one of the guards saw him. The guard was taking him away when the courtier said, I want to see the emperor before I die. The guard reluctantly agreed. When Akbar saw the courtier, he asked the guard, I had asked you to behead him. Why is he here? The courtier knelt in front of Akbar and said, "Your Majesty, you wanted my head, so I decided to bring it to you." Akbar smiled and said, "Very well. You may keep it with you." Birbal and the stable boy When Akbar saw Birbal his favorite minister walking to the court he was annoyed He asked Birbal why are you walking where are your horses Birbal replied Your majesty my wife and her cousins have taken the horses They have gone to visit relatives. Akbar summoned the stable boy and ordered him to give Birbal a horse. The stable boy chose the weakest horse. The horse was sick and reached Birbal's stable in great pain. At night the horse died. Next day, Birbal walked to the court. When Akbar asked him about the horse, Birbal said, "Your Majesty, the horse you gave me was so fast that he reached heaven last night." Akbar scolded the stable boy and said, "Why did you give Birbal a sick horse?" You shall be whipped. Birbal said, "Please pardon him, your majesty." The stable boy was ashamed. He thanked Birbal for saving him and chose a handsome horse for Birbal. Birbal and the magical donkey One of Akbar's courtiers rushed to see him and said There was a theft in my house last night All my valuables are gone Akbar said How can that be You live in a safe locality Then Akbar called Birbal and said One of the courtiers must be the culprit. Birbal said, "I will find out, your majesty." And he left the court. Soon, he returned with a donkey and said, "This magical donkey will tell us who the thief is." Then he asked all the courtiers to lift the donkey's tail and say, 
I am not the thief. One by one, the courtiers followed Beeble's instructions. In the end, Beeble asked them to raise their hands. Everyone's hands were black. But there was one courtier whose hands were clean. Beeble pointed towards him and said, Here is our thief. He was scared of the magical donkey. So he did not touch the tail. Truth and Falsehood Akbar occasionally put his courtier's intelligence to test and asked them all kinds of difficult questions. One day, he asked them, What is the difference between truth and falsehood? Tell me your answer in less than three words. All the courtiers were taken aback. They did not have the answer to his question and they were silent. Akbar asked, Why is everyone quiet? Beeble, can you answer this? Beeble said, Your Majesty, I want everyone else to speak first. That's why I am silent. Akbar said, No one seems to know the answer. Go ahead. Tell me in less than three words. Four fingers, said Beeble. Akbar was confused. Beeble explained, Your Majesty, what we see is true. But what we hear is mostly untrue. And the width between our eyes and ears is that of four fingers. That is what I meant. Akbar was pleased with Birbal's answer. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, Subscribe to Sahil Book House.